Jane Bowren, TV Review, Dot, Queen of the Castle. Dot Smith's dream of her own fairy tale castle surrounded by a moat has been realized. Journalist Melanie Reed returns to our screens with a documentary about a woman with pink hair who built a castle on a farm just out of Oamaru. Six years in the making. Dot, Queen of the Castle, Prime, Sunday, 8.30 p.m., is the story of a driven South Island woman and her family who own six dairy farms, a shopping complex, an award-winning restaurant and a nearly completed castle. Behind the Riverstone Empire is Dot Smith, her husband Neil and their two sons, Mike who manages one of the dairy farms, and Bevan, who runs Riverstone Kitchen, winner of a Cuisine Best Restaurant of the Year award. Ever since she was little, Dot dreamed of building a castle. Her obliging husband Neil, aka Smithy, tells her he'll help her do it, as long as the build contains a dungeon and a network of secret underground tunnels. The mind boggles as to what he wants the dungeon for, as his wife reveals he has recently acquired two new knees and could do with other new parts as well. With her cochineal hair, Dot looks like an exotic parrot and sounds like someone from Monty Python. Her ambitious projects began with a retail complex in disused farm barns to accommodate her burning passion for shopping. In the woman's dream, and a man's nightmare, she says. Architect Sarah Scott, who was hired to design the castle out of concrete, brick and oamaru stone, speaks glowingly of her client. Bowled over by Dot's unstoppable energy and determination, the architect remembers her initial brief a pink box full of ideas ripped out of magazines. Journalist Reed manages to extract Fred Daggish utterances from Farmer Smithy about the sheer sod-busting toil that has brought the family their hard-won fortune. As the castle is built, the downturn in daring hits, with Smithy determining to guts it out with his lethal brand of positivity. When they first started out in the 80s, the Smiths had three mortgages at an eye-watering 22% interest rate. They managed to survive Rogernomics and are staring down the recent slump. Meanwhile, at vast expense, Dot sources the kind of accoutrements she thinks fit for a castle, including suits of armor, four poster beds, a heavy Jacobean sideboard, Portuguese cabbage crockery and a family crest and coat of arms. She puts the realization of her dream down to hard work and plenty of manure and looks forward to the day Neil can row her across the artificial lake to dine in their Kiwi castle. Sky Arts screens the two-part miniseries Jack London, An American Adventure, Friday, 8.30 p.m., telling the story of the socialist author, sailor and celebrated adventurer. London was also a war correspondent and worked for William Hurst and all the major newspapers. He chronicled the poverty of East London, and with his Kodak camera was able to illustrate world events such as the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. London became known as the first worldwide celebrity after the phenomenal success of a book about a dog who hears the call and runs away to join then lead a wolf pack. 
The book was interpreted as an allegory for how to succeed in capitalist society.